All right, guys, Land Run 89 here with the CZ Model 527. I'm going to go over some of the things I like and things I don't like about the gun. First off, things I don't like about the gun are the barrel was not free floated um, from the factory and it has CZ proprietary rings, proprietary rings. Um, which like these are too high for this scope. I like to bring that down a little bit so I'm going to have to buy a new set of CZ rings to drop that. Um, the safety is another that I'm not real real high on. I mean it's not bad forward to fire. Um, it's just not an American design. Uh, and then the mag release off here to the side. It's not a deal breaker or anything like the safety is not a deal breaker or this. None of it's a deal breaker because you can float this by hand um, pretty easily. The rings can be, you know, you have to, the rings are kind of the only thing I don't like. You can tell the top of these are marred up a little bit. And they're flathead screwdriver rings. I like more of a hex design or a Allen key deal. But the things I do like about the gun is it has set triggers. Um, so you can set that trigger. Gun is unloaded, just so we know. I've checked it two or three times. Um, it has set triggers, which are very nice. I mean, it's real light. It goes bang, you know, surprises you. Uh, it is a lightweight gun. The, with even having the bull barrel or the varmint contour barrel on it, this gun weighs about the same as a standard barreled Remington 700 or even lighter than that. So you get a bull barrel without the weight of a... And the reasoning for that is this receiver is really small. The bolt's small. Uh, speaking of the bolt, it is a Mauser. Um, this is kind of a Mauser knockoff design. Um, really like the bolt on it. The, just a well thought out gun. But it is a European design, which means like there are weird things like the mag releases off here to the side. And the safety is kind of in an odd spot. But, oh, that being said, it has very nice wood on it. You can tell this kind of like tire striping on the wood. Um, which I'll tear up because I can't have nice things. Uh, <laughs> anyways, they do have metal magazines. I really like that deal. We're getting into the United States guns. Everything's polymer nowadays and it's kind of... There's, you know, a lot of things can break on those polymer mags like the Savage Axis and Ruger America and that kind of stuff. They have little plastic tabs holding the mags in. I'm not real high on that, but th this does come with a lightweight single stack. Fits in your pocket, in your palm. Hey, you know, just a nice little magazine. They are expensive to buy two of them, like 50 bucks. But for a lifetime gun, I mean, that's, you, I don't mind, even the plastic ones are 35 or 40 bucks, so, you know, not a big deal there. But, anyways, just a quick review of this gun. It shoots great. Uh, you couldn't hardly beat it with any other, you know, they're making rifles now where most of them are sub-MOA or better. If you get a good, you know, if you know what you're doing to, to get them to shoot like that. But, anyways, nice rubber pad on the back. Comes with, you know, American sling stock. Doesn't come with the Hornady sling. I'd earn that. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Really nice, lightweight gun. Great coyote gun. Um, the finish on it's great. I, I haven't really marred it up yet. Um, it's kind of a new gun to me. The only thing, if I was to buy another one, and I can still do this, is make the barrel about two inches shorter and thread it. <laughs> so it'll fit my can. But other than that, that's not the factory, you know, that's just my opinion on the gun. It shoots great, you know, you got the mag, uh, nothing more to be said. It comes with the Mauser, one of the most solid bolt designs. It has the Mauser uh, extractor on the side, which, I mean, this is one of the most proven designs, except they have perfected the Mauser. It's really smooth bolt. You know, feels like a custom-made gun. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys later.